Country Cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making barbecued Monterey chicken, creamy Italian noodles, watermelon feta salad, and Neiman Marcus bars. So uh, I'm just going to tell you, I have four strips of bacon that I've cut in half, and I'm uh, lightly cooking those. You don't want them crisp, but you want them kind of cooked. So I've got those going already just to save us a little bit of time. So getting back to the Neiman Marcus bars, these are Quite simple, actually. Uh, we're going to start with a, a yellow cake mix. To that, I'm going to add one egg and a half cup of butter melted. It calls for margarine. I always use butter. I just prefer butter. So we're going to mix that up. Okay, when you have it mixed up fairly well, a little bit of white yet down there. Okay. I'm gonna take this mixture. I have buttered a 9 by 13 pan. It actually calls for an, an 8 by 11 and um, that's just kind of an odd size that I don't have. I don't know if you have but anyway um, the one thing about going to a little bit of a bigger pan, the, the layer that we're going to put on top of this layer um, bakes up a little better when you use just a little bit better, a little bit larger pan. So in the meantime, I want to take that bacon off the, the stove here. I'm draining it on paper towels. Get that and get the chicken cooking in a second, but I want to get this padded in the pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands. bacon grease out of here. tablespoon of butter to this and then we're going to put the four chicken breasts in there so I've got they're, they're big ones they're thick so I'm going to turn the heat to low and let them let them cook and there's salt in the butter so you don't really need to add salt all the life I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. I'm going to cook that on about medium heat. So let's get back to the new Marcus bars. Now we're going to do the next layer. This is an 8 ounce cream cheese. I'm going to um, 
Beat that with the other two eggs. This calls for a total of three eggs. We put one in with the crust, two in with this mixture. powdered sugar. We're going to dump that in. nice and smooth. Then we're going to pull the beaters out. It's really such a simple recipe and, and it really is delicious. And I don't know if they really serve it at Neiman Marcus. I don't know why it's called Neiman Marcus, but um, sometimes people do get their recipes and or you know kind of do a uh, like a mock a mock up of it or something. So I'm going to add a half cup of coconut and a half cup of chopped, these are pecans, Get that mixed in real well, and then we're going to spread it over the top of our crust. Okay, this is going to bake at 325 for about 45 minutes. It looks like this, and that's all there is to it. It's simple and it is so delicious. So I'm going to take a quick break, clean up. We'll Internet right is back. here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds, all on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too, bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. We're going to start working on the um, the balsamic vinaigrette for the watermelon feta salad. So I'm going to start with a half cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm putting. I, I'm using a blender. I like to use a blender when I have to add oil slowly because then it incorporates it better and it doesn't separate so much. Um, I have four teaspoons of packed light brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to toss in about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Doesn't take much, a little bit. And, and then... Um, it's salt and pepper to taste, and, and as we talk about this a lot, it's kind of hard to uh, figure out before you taste it, but I'm going to start out with a half teaspoon of black pepper. And, and I'm going to do about uh, three-fourths teaspoon of salt. So... I'm going to put the lid on it and we'll start stirring. Okay, I'm 
now I'm going to pour in a cup of canola oil very slowly so that it stays together better. toss your salad just do it sparingly or you can serve it on the side check the chicken. Now remember, um, as I always say, if you want a copy of any of these recipes and you don't have internet, give the girls at Valley a call. They'll be happy to help get you a copy. If you do have internet, you can go to the Valley homepage, www.valleytel.net, and you'll find the tender cooking cow. That's where you go. You click on that, you'll find all the recipes. Getting nice and brown. But these are such thick breasts that I've covered them. I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm going to let them keep on cooking so that we make sure that they're cooked through. So I'm just going to reduce that a little bit. And then we're going to start water boiling for the, for the noodles. I'm using a Dutch oven because it's four cups and I don't want it to, to run over. So um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to take a quick break and clean up. We'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. Call Valley today at 437-2615. Okay, I've got the noodles done. I've got them drained. We're going to toss them in our bowl. This was four cups of, of egg noodles. So I'm going to toss that with a tablespoon of butter. Now we're just going to throw in the rest of our ingredients. We've got a half cup of cream. Two and a half teaspoons of Italian salad dressing mix. Four. 
fourth cup of butter that's melted. And a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. If you have freshly grated Parmesan cheese, use that. If not, you can just use the, the um, Parmesan cheese in the, in the container. Make sure I've got everything in here. Now, I always like to add some fresh ground pepper to this. So, uh, it doesn't need a lot, but it just gives it a little more zip. I'm going to toss just a little bit of salt. And it's ready to go. Now we'll quick assemble our salad. This is actually two bags of, of the spring mix and I have stemmed it and made sure that there's no yucky stuff in there. It also calls for, um, for fresh basil and, and I didn't have any right now. So it calls for six, six tablespoons of fresh basil. So when you're using dried basil, you use half. I'm gonna actually even use less than half. So instead of using six, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of dried basil and just sprinkle that over the top. Three-fourths cup of crumbled feta cheese. of watermelon that has been cubed and I did that and then also we're adding they want you to add two cups of mixed berries I have blueberries I have strawberries I have blackberries and I I threw some fresh cherries in there too I pitted them so this is going to have a lot of fruit on it it's going to give a lot of color um, and it's a nice refreshing salad to have at this time of the year My lettuce has actually settled a little bit, so this is probably more than we need. I'll set that on the side. And then if you're going to uh, eat the salad and you think you'll probably be using the whole thing, you can toss it with your vinaigrette right away. If you are not going to be using the whole thing right away, you might want to go ahead and, and serve the, the vinaigrette on the side so people can help themselves with whatever they want. So, we're good on that, we're good on that. I'm going to take a quick break and clean up and finish the chicken. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to finish up the chicken. I've checked the temperature. You want it to read about 170 degrees. Chicken is done, so now we're going to dress it up a little bit. I have a half cup of barbecue sauce. I'm using the Old West. You can use whatever you prefer. I'm basting the, the chicken breast then. Covering it with the barbecue sauce. Now on top of that, I'm going to sprinkle, I have a tomato, like a medium tomato that I've diced fairly fine. We're going to sprinkle that over the top of each one. Three green onions that I've chopped. Those are going next. Then we're going to take the bacon that I cooked a little earlier. We're going to lay two slices on top of each chicken breast. And then 
the cup of cheddar cheese. We're going to sprinkle that over the top. These are beautiful. It's something that you don't really have to heat up your whole kitchen to make in the summertime. And, you, and it's a nice dish for the wintertime too. It's just sometimes when you've got your oven busy with one thing, it's nice to have um, a way you can prepare a meat without having to uh, without having to wait for the oven to free up or something like that. I'm going to put the lid over the top of it just to kind of um, hold the heat in so everything kind of melts together. We'll give that about five minutes and it'll be done. So I'm going to take a quick break and finish up here. We'll be right back. At Valley Telecommunications, we pride ourselves in providing the home team advantage. But what does that mean? It means going above and beyond to take care of our customers' needs by providing exceptional customer service because helping you helps all of us. As a cooperative, each time you subscribe to our services, you are investing in our community, which allows all of us to build and benefit from the newest technologies. Make the switch today to Valley Telecommunications and experience the home team advantage. Okay, I just want to talk just real briefly before we finish up here. Um, this is a beautiful dish. This is not beautiful, but it is very tasty. It's very simple. This is all things that are easy to do for you in the summertime when you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking in the kitchen. But um, this is beautiful enough for company. Um, and, you know, so I just want to help you out with, you know, having some fun with your summer cooking and not have to have so much time invested. But anyway, so, and, and these chicken breasts are large. You could even, if you're feeding children or, you know, some adults that don't, you could almost cut these chicken breasts in two. They're, they're really big. Anyway, and the pasta is so simple, so delicious, and uh, not necessarily colorful, but you've got your color in your meat. So um, here's your Neiman Marcus bars. You've got this, Beautiful summer salad. I'm gonna dish some here. I'm gonna get a little more of the fruit on there. Strawberries. Drizzle it with a little dressing. And we're all set. We have our barbecued Monterey chicken, our creamy Italian noodles, our watermelon feta salad, and our Neiman Marcus bars. Thanks for joining us today on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time.